What's up guys, it's Dalmata here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Mimology 101 video. Now this one is interesting, because I'm surprised I haven't heard about this, because I'm Canadian, and this is about Canada. Uh, but this did just happen yesterday, I believe, because um, the video was released a day ago, usually he does them within a day of it happening. This is Trudeau's health minister triggered at the thought of Canadians going on a road trip. Uh, is this still COVID related? I'm not sure. Honestly, our, our health, everything up here is just whack. Link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Okay, so yes, so this is two days ago. The Honourable Member from Lethbridge. After nine years, this NDP Liberal government is not worth the hunger and homelessness that it's causing so many Canadians across this country. Many Canadians just simply look forward to a small summer vacation, a road trip perhaps. It's normally a time where they can go and camp in the mountains or go to a national park or visit loved ones. But this year, many Canadians can't afford this simple delight because this government has made life too expensive. On Monday, this House will have the opportunity to vote on a common sense motion to save Canadians 35 cents per litre on gas. Will the Prime Minister vote with us, the Common Sense Conservative? Oh God, I wish. Gas has gone so expensive, man. It's insane. So that Canadians can afford a simple vacation, or will he force them to stay home? Good. The Honourable Minister of Health. Sorry. Mr. Speaker, good news, kids. You can take a summer fun time vacation where you're locked in a car for 10 consecutive days non-stop with no bathroom breaks and the Conservatives have a plan for you to have that summertime fun and the cost? Give up the future of the planet, right? Don't worry kids about climate change. Man, this guy's a fucking idiot. Don't worry about taking action on the planet. Enjoy your 10 hours in the car and let the planet burn. The clowns cheering for him behind him. Jesus Christ. Every, you know what the thing is? Everyone thinks that he's going to lose. I I hope he does, but I honestly... I have no hope for this country. I would not be surprised at all if Trudeau won again. Although I was just at a concert uh, last Tuesday in Waterloo, which is like a very, very liberal town, and everyone was chanting, Fuck Trudeau at the concert. Now the thing is they say fuck Trudeau but they'll vote for the same policies or worse policies with you know like they'll they'll vote NDP or Green or something which wants to do the same shit but like you know they're they're mad that he's not far left enough, right? So yeah, again, no hope. Oh, what a drama queen. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Why are these idiots in charge are fucking Oh my god, it's insane. It's so insane. The craziest thing is like being anti-car in a country like Canada where like the 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 pockets of population are so isolated from each other, right? Like you have the, the kind of like the Laurentian uh corridor, I guess you could call it like the Laurentian area where even there, like, they're so separate from each other relative to, like, other countries. But, like, you know, there's one pocket in Laurentia. There's another pocket in uh, the Plains. And there's another pocket in Vancouver. But, like, if you – you have to – yeah, it's just so insane to me that people think like this in a country is widely – just as – where the population is so widely spread out. It's so insane. Anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.